Petersburg could bring big zoning changes to neighborhoods and it will be voted on next week. News Channel's Annie Mapp joins us live in St. Pete with what this could mean for residents there. Annie. Josh, the rezoning plan would allow four residential units to be built on a single family lot along major roads within the city. It's a plan the city has been working towards for years, but now nearly 3,000 residents are opposing the change. We feel like it's going to destroy our neighborhoods. St. Petersburg city leaders call it the missing middle, a rezoning plan that provides alternative housing options for people in the city with a lower price per square foot compared to detached single family homes. 15th Avenue South, 22nd Avenue South. So it's the streets that uh, line our neighborhoods that would allow development. Planning Director Elizabeth Abernathy says the multi-unit housing would be allowed within 175 feet of the center line of major streets. Occupants would rely on alleys for access and parking. It could be in the form of two unit building with garage apartments in the back. It could be one building that had four units. Um, what's key to this is that we have design standards so that the scale, the height uh, of these buildings is consistent with single family home. Abernathy says that will help the units fit in with the character of each neighborhood. Stephanie Pitts, who lives in Crescent Heights, is against the plan. Where are these people going to park? Yes, they're going to then start intruding into the neighborhood, and then if they have friends or family over, they're going to be parking into the neighborhoods, blocking the alleys. And the rezoning topic will be up for public reading next Thursday. If approved, the plan would go into effect immediately. Council is expected to vote during that meeting. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.